Hi, today I am going to discuss about three phase inverter or 120 degree conduction mode of three phase inverter. Last class I have discussed about 180 degree conduction mode. There we have seen that every switch conducts for 180 degree and after 60 degree a new switch comes into action and we have seen that a one harmonics as well as triplet harmonics are absent in the output voltage waveform. Let's start 120 degree conduction mode. Here as the switch conducts only for 120 degree so the switch is not fully utilized. At a time two switches will be on. In 180 degree conduction we have seen that three switches were on. Here due to the 60 degree delay time one advantage is that short circuit chances are less but in 180 degree conduction there is no dead time or delay time between the two switches of same phase lake. We can say that just after switch 1, switch 4 is turned on. So there is a high chance of short circuit. That's why a uh, dead time is to be given between switch number 1 and switch number 4. Here from that point of view it is comparatively better. The circuit diagram remains same as we have discussed in 180 degree conduction mode. 6 switches 135462 output voltage 120 degree out of phase we will get. Here also 3 phase star connected load is assumed. Resistive load is the best one because it is easy to understand the switching pulses and the output voltage waveform. Though for resistive load these anti-parallel diodes are not utilized. Here also switching pulses are given to these six switches in such a way that three phase balanced output voltage should be obtained and the three output voltages must be 120 degree out of phase. If Vr is Vm sin theta then Vy Vm sin theta minus 120 Vb Vm sin theta minus 240. Let's see the switching pulses. Here the switch 1 starts from 0 and conducts for 120 degree and remain off for 240 degree. Then again it will be on for 120 degree. Then it will continue like this. Switch number 2 likewise conduct for 120 degree remains off for 240 degree. Then 120, 240. Likewise all the 6 switches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will conduct for 120 degree and remain off for 240 degree. Now just like 180 degree conduction here also 60 degree delay time is given to switch number 2 from switch number 1. This delay time is given to obtain 3 phase 120 degree out of phase output voltages. So switch number 3 is delayed by 120 degree from switch number 1, switch number 4 by 180 degree from switch number 1, switch number 5 240 degree from switch number 1 and switch number 6 it is delayed by 300 degree from switch number 1. At any time let's see how many switches are on. So from here to here you can say this point to this point this is your 60 degree. So in this duration switch number 1 is on let's see go down then switch number 6 is on. So only two switch 1 and 6 here it is on and let's see for 60 to 120 here switch number 2 is on 
and 1 is on. So here 6 is completely off and a new switch 2 comes into conduction. Then from 120 to 180. That means here it is 0 to 60, 60 to 120, now 120 to 180. Here switch number 2 and 3 is on, rest are off. Then from 180 to 240, this point is 240. So 180 to 240, switch number 3 and 4 is on. Likewise, this switches will be on. And the switching sequence, we are getting 6, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6. Then at this point, one cycle is complete. So you can see 0 to 360 degree. And after this, the switch number 1 again will be turned on. And during this period, switch number 6 again it will be on. So the sequence repeats from here. Let's see how the output voltage waveform will look like when this kind of pulses are fed to six switches. See here 0 to 120 degree. Switch number 6 and 1 is on. Then the output voltage here we are getting it is V by 2. So 100 volt is supply. Here we will get 50 volt output. So this phase voltage is Vrn, Vyn, Vbn. We have got like this. And between 0 to 60 degree, this Vrn is V by 2, Vyn minus V by 2, and Vbn it is zero so at any instant of time if you will add these magnitudes you will get zero value so from zero to sixty sum of the instantaneous values is zero and the switches on are six by two and vrn we have got v by two vyn minus v by two and vbn zero let's see the equivalent circuit here i switch number six and one is on you can see current will flow only in this direction this one and this one there will be no current through this switch this switch as well as this switch so voltage you will get only across vrn and vyn so current direction let's see current will start from here through switch one it will travel like this so here it is positive here it is negative so vrn is positive now current will come out and flow through this switch number six so as current is coming out so here it will be positive and here it will be negative so negative output voltage across this phase we will get that is equal to current into this resistance r so if r is the value of this balanced load of three resistances then vrn is equal to i into r and vyn is equal to minus i into r and there is no current flowing through this vbn so voltage above this vbn it will be zero and it's exactly same we have seen let's see so from zero to 60 degree vrn is this positive vyn is negative and let's see the magnitude so here vrn is equal to i into r and here it is this one so this positive negative and here this positive negative so the voltage is divided across the two resistance that's why the voltage across vrn it will be v by 2 and the magnitude of vyn is v by 2 though it is negative so it is, so it is v by 2 here it is minus v by 2 so here it is v by 2 between 0 to 60 degree and here it is minus v by 2 100 volt supply so 50 volt 50 volt we have got here now from 60 to 120 
the switches on were 1 and 2. So when 1 and 2, the output voltage, we have got Vrn V by 2, Vyn is 0 and Vbn is minus V by 2. Let's see the circuit. So when switch number 1 and 2 is on, then current will flow in this direction. So there will be no current through this switch, this switch, this switch and this switch. And the current, here it is, this one. So that this voltage V is divided across this resistance and this resistance. So the magnitude is here V by 2, here it is V by 2. But here as current comes out, here it is positive, here it is negative. So Vvn is negative and Vrn is positive. See here. So Vrn is positive and Vvn is negative. And there is no current through the phase Y. So Vyn is Zero. So likewise, you will continue and you will get three phase output voltage across this one. At any instant of time, you can sum these magnitudes, you will get zero. And to find that these phase voltages are lagging 120 degree or not, let's see. This VRN starts from zero, then VYN here it starts from this point. So, Vyn is lagging Vrn by 120 degree. Then Vbn. So, Vbn starts from here. And this is your 0. So, this is your 0. So, it starts from here. So, Vbn is lagging Vyn by 120 degree. So, we have successfully developed three phase output voltage having some of the instantaneous values at any instant of time 0 and the three phase voltages are lagging by 120 degree. Let's see the line voltage. So here line voltage Vry is nothing but just Vrn minus Vyn. Only one line to line voltage here I have shown. You can see from 0 to 60 degree it is V. Then 60 to 120 it is V by 2. Then 120 to 180 it is minus V by 2 and 180 to 240 it is minus V. So this voltage let's see 0 to 60 Vrn is 50 volt and Vyn is minus 50. So 50 minus minus 50 is equal to 100 volt. Here we have got. Now for this case, let's see. Vrn is here. Here it is 50 and Vyn is 0. So 50 minus 0 is equal to 50. So likewise you can continue and you will get this line voltage. Let's see the Fourier analysis of this waveform. The line voltage likewise as we have done in 180 degree conduction mode can be expressed as Fourier series summation of this DC component then cosine component then sine component and as the waveform are similar to single phase half bridge full bridge 180 degree conduction mode in detail we have discussed about this A0 and AN so you can go through and find and you will see that A0 and AN it will be 0 so the DC component is 0 and the cosine component coefficient is 0 so ultimately we have to find this value Vn and you will get 2V by n by sine of n pi by 2 sine n pi by 3 now here n is equal to 1 to infinity put n is equal to 2 you will get sine pi so this term will be 0 4 2 pi 6 3 pi so even harmonics are not present across the system at the same time 
put this value n is equal to 3 you will get sin pi so this will be 0 so third harmonic is not there then n is equal to 9 3 pi so ninth harmonic is not there 15 5 pi that is also not present so from here we can conclude that triplane harmonics are also absent across the this line voltage line voltage is we can write directly as we know that edge voltages are 120 degree out of phase so this line voltages will also be 120 degree lagging from each other so vyb is equal to n is equal to 1 3 5 to infinity 2 vy n by sin n pi by 3 if you are writing 3 6 then you have to keep it here sin n pi by 3 sin n omega t minus pi by 2 so this one is so this vyb is lagging vry by 120 degree likewise vbr we can write lagging this vyb by 120 degree so today i have discussed about three phase inverter based on 120 degree conduction of switches and we have seen that at any instant of time only two switches are conducting but from short circuit point of view it is comparatively better than 180 degree because 60 degree delay time is there across the two switches of same phase leg then we have discussed about the switching pulses of six switches to generate three phase balanced and 120 degree out of phase output voltages then we have verified the obtain output voltage with the equivalent circuit and different modes of operations and different switching sequences of these six switches and the sequences we have got six one one two two three three four four five five six and again six one then we have discussed about the Fourier analysis of the line voltage waveform and we have found out the three line voltages then we have seen that across the line voltages even harmonics as well as triple harmonics are absent as we have found out in 180 degree conduction mode thank you